what kind of business you would do so it's all about business right so not clapping right. out so what kind of business you choose i would probably do something that has to do with clothes i have glimpses of that trip but i knew i knew for a fact i got lost in new york for about 6 hours oh <laughs> so um i am very curious to know what brand you're talking about and what happened but I... anyways how was your day divyam not bad um i've been busy with some sort of preparations so i have to go for a training soon but uh, everything else has been good how was your week it was pretty um, good and okay i can say but today is not really good why what happened no i did start with a fight for uh, it is actually i ordered some uh, products from a brand i don't want to reveal the brand but uh, i'm dissatisfied because the standard was not really good and not up to the mark as expected so i paid yeah. a lot but uh, it really uh, it really seemed as if it's so cheap the deal was too good to be true but then it turned out to be bad yeah actually they don't have a uh, they turned out to be bad but i expected they would be good and the uh, bad part here is uh, i don't have a return window like i can't return these items so they are non returnable so anyways okay should we move on to the topic then yeah let's move on to the topic and i have seen the document yeah it started with extempore right that's yeah. the self, the topic is self improvement and it starts with an extempore yeah yeah i have got the pronunciation as extempore but okay extempore or extemp extempore Some... yes okay right so i myself didn't know for the first 6 months when i was taking sessions here that it's pronounced extempore i used to call it extempore um, yeah, but then yeah, yeah. one of my learners mentioned it and i googled it And you know, Google they have the pronunciation. Yes. I checked that the British and the American one is extempore. So I'm yeah, like, yeah. So I was like, oh, okay, that that now I feel embarrassed because for six months I've been saying it wrong. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Obviously, we have been taught like that, so there's nothing wrong in learning. Yeah. Even yeah, now, I'm I accept. I'm glad I got I'm corrected. <laughs> I learn every day. That's really good. Definitely, I am um, because if you. have this mindset that you know everything then you're never going to grow right yeah okay what uh, so as you said like uh, apart from clapping go uh, mm-hmm. you wouldn't be doing anything so let's continue the same topic like what kind of business you would do so it's all about business right so not clapping right. go what kind of business you choose i would probably do something that has to do with clothes and apparel um, okay because um, i personally this is my experience I feel like if you want to search for a particular theme, okay, let's say I want to buy a '70s outfit for a guy. Okay. If I Google it, the first ten out of the first ten options, um, nine of them will be for women. Okay. Right. Because uh-huh. there's lots of choices that women have, lots of brands, lots of you know. Um, Obviously. Yeah. So, me personally, like I've always wanted to buy dungarees. But in the last yeah. one or two years, I have not been able to find like proper dungaree. Uh, yeah, I do. I, someone and had this told me that H&M. Me, sorry to interrupt you. And this reminds me of another word. Instead of dungaree, we can also use overall because dungaree we yes. Britishers do use it, and overall, like uh, Americans do use it. Americans so, use that. Yeah. Yeah, it's really crazy. Sometimes, like they say cart and we say trolley. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. it's really different when we go to another place. so yeah i think especially um, in another country definitely and the, the weird part is uh, indians are getting confused as to which words to use or which sort of language to adapt to because we our schools are teaching us british english because we were yeah. ruled by britishers yeah. and um, the western culture that is in, you know seeping into in the indian culture along yeah. with the movies and the shows and the pop culture yeah. references they're all american so i think indians are just like massively confused yeah as to which one to use um, even i was some, surprised like earlier when somebody said like which route do i need to prefer so uh, i said like uh, do you mean by uh, router route. is it like <laughs> then they said which which route then I, okay i thought i seem to be i was listening to the context so i'm well aware so i said is it route 
okay i i think you're using british pronunciation but the american pronunciation is right okay wow good <laughs> so that is when i get to know new things okay so it's pretty much different if we go from area to area even in america if you we have different accents and all so mm. even in uk there are different accents so are you have been to any other country oh i have been to the us but when i was i think 10 or 11 years old I wasn't okay you're not a I kid but you know i think aware. you're aware yeah like not very aware not fully like i mean i have glimpses of that trip but i knew i knew for a fact i got lost in new york for about 6 hours oh then how did you find them your parents the cops me? the cops found me and they helped you uh, yeah they did help your parents exactly and luckily my oh. parents being the and this is eight, like this is like 15 years ago like going to the us 15 years ago yeah so they were like those typical indians where they would write the address of that like my address or like my name you have a passport number. right so i think you I mean, are carrying as a 10 year old i won't be carrying my passport right? yeah, my parents yeah. would be so what they had done is they had written a phone number somewhere on my cap or on my so i had okay. a what is this uh, the thing called when you're wearing um, on your stomach and you waist bag pouch, kind of yeah uh, waist pouch. belt kind of pouch yeah so i had a pouch and in that they had on that they had written the number um they had kind of written the general address of my uncle's house yeah. he is okay. living in philadelphia so yeah. he they so, wrote that down and luckily they could track it so, oh my god <laughs> <laughs> so i think they're hilarious. so much tensed by then like before they found you like the process whole process was really like an adventure for them i guess i don't remember much about that incident but i do remember that i was roaming around for about 2 3 hours just taking in the sights because as an indian who had only seen marutis and fiat in my like in my country okay you're so fascinated was, by cars i i mean at that time i was because 15 years ago india didn't have that many brands or everything was quite dull in india when you go to the us like i went to vegas i went to new york i went to i went to california as well so everything okay. was so overwhelming for me and like so bright and so colorful and like all these you know so yeah at that time i was over and so for the first 3 hours i was just roaming around and then i realized oh yeah i, I don't think my parents are around. lost my parents are crying mm-hmm. yeah and when i felt crying they found me and they were trying to track me down like track my parents down okay good apart yeah. from apparel that, like- basically i just want to make sure that guys have as many options as girls do in terms of outfits because we look at all these um fashion capitals like france and japan right. is quite famous for its you know um, apparel culture or like accessories right so i don't think india quite has that india i'm not saying they don't have at all but i okay. feel like there's a lot of scope for men's fashion in india so okay if i had the budget and if i had a concrete idea i would probably pursue that good good yeah we can so obviously even if you try it'll be a trial and error and you would learn from mm-hmm. your mistakes for sure so even Definitely. there are many businessmen who have lost for the first time second time and they've tried it again to mm-hmm. you know build their own empire obviously. well i have researched this and i do have a website online right now although i haven't populated it with any sort of uh, inventory or anything Okay. but uh, if i do end up doing this i'll probably do something that it's a this is a technique called print on demand have you heard this no i haven't heard so basically you as a customer will go to the um, website okay. uh, pick and choose what you want so if you want let's say a female like like for you you want a t-shirt right so you can pick between a crop top a v neck a, a round neck a crew cut right a short t-shirt or like a long t-shirt that you can wear at night You can long pick tees, whichever yeah. one you want. Yeah, long tees, exactly. Uh, you can pick whatever you want, and then kind of copy paste designs that I've already made. Yeah, I understood. By the you name itself, it, it says like print on demand. That's like customizing your yeah. own outfits. And once print you pay for the order, outfit. only then it will go into printing, oh. and then I'll send it to you. So there is no sort of inventory that I need to worry about. And the best thing about print on demand is there are vendors out there who are ready to integrate their orders with your website. So okay. all you have to do as a as a person who's handling the website is make the website integrated to the vendor 
the order directly goes to the vendor i don't even have to like manually do anything it automatically goes to the vendor and right. the vendor will make it and then deliver it to you i don't even need to worry about anything good <laughs> right so let's okay. say i buy the t-shirt for about 10 dollars so i was going to do this in the us by the way not in india yeah if i buy this print on demand one order for 10 dollars mm-hmm. i'll sell it to you for 12 15 20 whatever i wish and then right. the markup that i have that is what i make okay so anyways there would be a profit for sure because uh, obviously in india i think clothing is quite cheap if you compare that with another country so yeah. might be they would uh, you would get pretty much deal or might be you would <laughs> you would get more profits out of this yeah well one thing i was thinking about back then was that indians don't really like and, and i myself i'm guilty of this we don't really trust uh, new sites or you know and really? websites that advertise i second you know? that yeah so i thought well cash and delivery is a risk in the on terms of my investment and um, online payment is a risk from their side and it will hamper my sales so i might as well go to an industry that is already you know um, established and people trust the community over there right. so i had used shopify shopify kind of verifies my account saying that okay this is not a scam account Uh, Shopify okay. is like an Amazon of websites. Okay, fine. So it's so like a mass retailer. Shopify mark. Yeah. So once they see the Shopify mark, they're like, okay, we are kind of insured that Shopify will make sure that our product reaches or we get some sort of customer service. We won't be left in the dark. Okay. Yeah, but there are many websites these days, as I said, and like at the starting of a conversation. So it it is new. So I tried because even I'm a YouTuber, so I try different websites and all. So mm-hmm. I sometimes I review if I have time. So I've tried it, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I was completely fooled by it. So I'm not going to again do it. So anymore, so, uh, obviously I'm not going to retry it, right? So yeah, that's it. I think that's what Once happens. Once we learn, learn a- bad experience. Yeah. Once we learn a thing, obviously we are not going to retry it for sure. Yeah, that's true. So um, I'm I'm very curious to know what brand you're talking about and what happened. But yeah. I understand you don't want to share it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just, Anyways, I, thought, I don't like yeah I don't like for now. When I just post a video related to that, hopefully the world knows it. It'll be on pub. It'll be in public. Are oh, you planning to make a video on that? Yeah, of course I will. I for that's sure. That's great. I think you should do that. Yeah.